Alright. I believe we are live. Hello everybody. My name is Jenny Tolman. This is Dave Brainerd here with me tonight. He is Grammy nominated producer extraordinaire, but lucky for me he's quarantined with me, so <laughs> I get to have him playing along with me. But uh Thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, I wanted to give a couple shout outs before we started because it takes a lot of, takes a village to get something like this rolling. So I wanted to thank Jim Waldrop and Bill Baxter from the Wart Hotel, and Scott Anderson from Jackson Hole Radio, and Justin Smith for organizing these live sessions because um, it's so much fun to get to be able to still interact with y'all and still get to play shows even when we're stuck at home. So I really appreciate all of you helping to put this together and I appreciate y'all for tuning in. So uh, we're gonna be playing uh, all originals for you tonight and uh, we're gonna start off with one of my favorite love songs from my debut album called There Goes the Neighborhood and this song is called Till My Tank Is Empty. I'm gonna love you till my tank is empty, till I give it all I got. I can't love anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna love you till my tank is empty. If we run out of road, I'll have to pedal to the floor. on here so I can say hi back. Since I can't see you, this is our way to communicate. So feel free to comment, ask any questions, and I will be periodically checking in between songs to say hi. Hi, Justin. Patrick says, my wife loves your earrings. Thank you. I got a song coming up for you, girl. <laughs> All right, well, as I mentioned briefly, I put out my debut album, There Goes the Neighborhood, this last July, and uh, 
We've had a lot of fun with it. We got to tour lots of places before we all got stuck at home. Uh, debuted at number 25 on the Billboard charts and uh, Billboard Country album charts. And so uh, it's had a really fun ride so far, but the basis of the whole album is is kind of a, it's based in this imaginary world called Jennyville. And Jennyville is full of lots of crazy characters, but they're very lovable. And so uh, we're gonna play the title track next because you're gonna meet a few of these characters and this is There Goes the Neighborhood. check in on these comments. Hello, hello. Ah, oh, Renee Bouldridge says, just bought your album. Thank you so much, Renee. Yeah. All right, all right. Hello, Betsy. How are y'all doing tonight? All right, well, you know what? We're gonna continue on with these uh, little characters. And uh, who was it that I... Patrick, I told you that you said your wife loves my earrings. Well, I always make really stupid dad joke <laughs> about my earrings with this next song because this next song is kind of the basis of Jennyville and I always say that I fit right in with the size of my hoop earrings and the amount of fake rhinestones I wear. Even in quarantine I got the rhinestones going, you got to. But uh, you might fit into this one and if you do I've got the perfect t-shirt for you on my website JennyTolman.com. This song is called High Class Quiet Church. i 
shirt Oh, a little Bloody Mary for a head full of hurt Nothing like a fresh coat of lipstick Painted on bright You can see the kind of stuff that my mama wouldn't like Even makes a potty mouth seem ladylike You made me lean a little too much on Maybelline Cincinnati. Justin Smith, that's right. We are going to be in Jackson Hole at Silver Dollar Showroom on October 29th. We are so excited. Dave's going to be with me and Dave also has hit songs that he's written so he's going to be playing those as well. So it's not just going to be me. He's uh, going to have to play for, <laughs> for once and sing, sing for practice. himself. Yeah, he says he's going to have to practice. But we are very much looking forward to it. I've never been but I've just heard how beautiful it is and seen the pictures. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun, so I can't wait for y'all. Hello, Carrie Jo, thanks for the clapping emojis. I can hear them, I can hear them in my head. <laughs> and Sarah Beth, thank you, thank you. 95 point, 95 point, 96.9. Huh, gotta blink my contacts into place. Hello, thank you for tuning in. Alex, hello, I'll see you there, can't wait. Hello, Millie. I can't wait to see you there either. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, let's get back to some tunes, shall we? All right, well, this next song I wrote with a couple of my really good friends, Sophie Sanders and her dad, Mark D. Sanders. And Mark D. Sanders is an absolutely um, amazingly talented writer. He is in the National Songwriter Hall of Fame. He wrote Blue Clear Sky, Heads Carolina, Tales California, um, I Hope You Dance, lots of absolutely incredible, beautiful songs. So uh, we got to write this one together. And uh, it came out of this, this feeling that I had, <laughs> this really ugly feeling that I had towards somebody. And uh, I just I had it written down on my phone. It was just, I wish you weren't so pretty. And that's all that it said. And, it, and that's all that I could think about with it was that line, and so I brought this to them, and the whole chorus and the song, it just kind of fell out instantly in about 15, 20 minutes, and 
Um, sometimes those are the coolest songs that you get when they come out that quick. So this is so pretty. I spent two hours getting ready with my makeup and my hair. My best friend Amy helped me pick out what to wear. I practiced what to say and I practiced what to do. But it all went out the window when I met you. I wish you weren't so pretty. I wish you weren't so sweet. I wish you didn't. guys so much. I appreciate all the hearts and the thumbs ups. That's, the, that's how I know that you're there. <laughs> this is such a learning curve to, not even a learning curve, just a whole different experience to be playing shows through a computer screen and a, a phone screen. So I really appreciate all the comments and the emojis. Makes, makes me feel like I can see you. So uh, thanks for listening. Ah, oh, Steve Robinson, so pretty. Future CMA Song of the Year. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, well, this next song is not on the album, but it was released before the album. So if you like it, you can still go find it. Um, you can purchase it anywhere that music is. Um, it kind of came out of this thing that I do called Jenny's Joy Jar. It's a gratitude jar that I post every Sunday a picture of something that I'm grateful for and I invite everybody else to comment on it with something that you're grateful for. And so it's just a, a fun way to keep everybody thinking about all the good that we have in our lives, especially in times like these where it seems like it's very easy to focus on not so good stuff. So uh, I would love to invite all of y'all to join in this coming Sunday. Um, follow me at Jenny Tolman. Um, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media platform of your choice, but uh, follow along and comment on the gratitude jar, the Jenny's Joy Jar post this Sunday. And uh, all that being said, <laughs> this song is called Something to Complain About. And uh, it was actually my first ever music video that I got to shoot. It was scary and terrifying, but amazing. It was so much fun. And then um, it turned into my first number one CMT music video as well. So lucky number one with this one. So uh, 
We've had fun with it. This is something to complain about. Two. coming Sunday on Jenny's Twitter. The butcher's 
pick on the floor. <laughs> all right, so here's the time where y'all get to do a little audience participation. Are you ready? So, normally in a, a normal show, I would have the audience do call and response. So since I can't hear you, you're gonna type what I say back to me, and it's gonna be just like you're singing along, right? And Caps gets extra credit. It's super easy. There's gonna be a little lag for me seeing it, but I know that you're doing it, right? Okay. Work it to the left. Type work it to the left. <laughs> work it to the right. Work it to the right. <laughs> work it all day. for joining in on that. I told Brandon the tempos would be better if he was here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brandon. So Brandon Barnes, I see you on here. Brandon is our drummer. He's the bartender in Jennyville. Just FYI. Everybody in my band has a character. Dave's character is uh, the wizard. And I always say, pay no attention to the man behind the acoustic guitar. <laughs> I, got, I got great jokes all day, guys. Don't worry. Thank you so much. All right, 96.9 The Mountain. We will definitely come stop by the studio while we're there. We would love that. Thank you for the invite. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks for working it with us. Well, this next song has had a really fun journey so far. Um, long story short, Dave and I, we wrote this with our good friend John Goodwin, and it made its way into Jeff Bridges' hands, a.k.a. The Dude. And so uh, Jeff fell in love with this song and ended up opening up Lebowski Fest last year out in LA with this song, which was a bunch of firsts for me because I had never seen the movie. I had never been to LA and I'd never seen anybody sing my own song before in front of me. And uh, so I always say, I think Jeff Bridges was a pretty cool place to start for that. So uh, it was a pretty amazing experience. And um, he opened his whole summer tour with this song, and he actually just played it again on Willie Nelson's live stream concert that he had. So uh, we're gonna play this song for you, and Dolly Parton also took a liking to it. She has it on her personalized, hand-picked playlist on Apple Music. It's called What Would Dolly Do, is the playlist. So you can go on to that playlist and find this song. And it's also on the album, but the song's called My Welcome Man. We're all just trying to find a higher place I got friends that fit the mold And friends that dance on poles In my living room ain't no one out of place My welcome mat Don't care if you're white or black Don't care if you're thin or fat It ain't there to judge all 
guys so much let me check these comments ah uh, thank you so much for loving that song all right well we've got a couple more for you this one uh whew. Brandon Dave's gonna miss you bad on this one <laughs> so this one <laughs> forced Dave to be a one-man band because uh, normally there's a Lots of instruments going on, especially on the recorded track of this one. It's my ode to Dolly Parton and Burt Reynolds because this is a reminiscent of Vessel Whorehouse in Texas. There's a song from that movie called A Little Old, Bissy, a little, a little old Bitty Pissant Country Place that Dolly sings, and uh, that is my pump up song. Before I play a show, I always listen to that song and it gets me into character. So uh, if you know that song, you know what's coming for this guy. <laughs> Yeah. 
Dub time. Can can all of the above. The wizard of Jennyville can do it. <laughs> Sarah Beth, Brandon, and Carrie Jo, and DW are all cheering you on. <laughs> oh man. Well, thank you guys so much again for tuning in. Uh, this this next song, I've started doing something in quarantine uh, to to help keep everybody engaged and keep myself from going crazy since we can't play shows out in public right now. Uh, but one of my other passions besides music is cooking and baking because I have been gluten free for over ten years, so that means I had to start doing it before it was cool. <laughs> so. Uh, my mom and I actually did it at the same time, and so we had to start learning how to create our own food because back then there wasn't the variety and the choices that you have today. So it became a passion of mine, so we started doing these videos called Quarantine Kitchen where I am sharing some of my favorite recipes, so if you are into that kind of stuff, be sure to check that out on my socials on YouTube. Just type in Jenny Tolman Quarantine Kitchen and they'll pop right up. But uh, it kind of fits in pretty nice with this next song. That's also from the album. Uh, it's called Get Used to My Cooking. You're the best little kitchen dancer, if I do say so myself. In your arms, there's a million stories. Someday I'm gonna love to tell. Put too much salt in the gravy And I think I might have burnt the ham But you better get used to my cooking, darling If you're gonna be my man I'll be the sugar in your morning coffee The kiss on your cheek in the mirror This fog of love that's around us Got me seeing things a whole Tell me I'm your angel I see heaven in a whole new light Better get used to my cooking Cause I ain't letting you out of my sight You better get used to the thought of me Loving on you forever You better get used to the pieces of your heart Puzzle getting put back together We'll plant some seeds Promises are kind of like dishes, they get broken a time or two. And if you're like me, you had dreams that didn't end up coming true. But this hunger that I feel for it, it ain't ever gonna go away. Better get used to my cooking, cause honey, I'm here to stay.
All right. Well, thank you so much, y'all, for tuning in and hanging out with us. Again, my name is Jenny Tolman. This is Dave Brainerd, and we will both be at the Silver Dollar Showroom in Jackson Hole, October 29th. We are so excited to join you there, to be in person again. I can't wait to see your faces. Um, but thank you so much again to the Wart Hotel and for Jackson Hole Radio for having us do this live session. Thank you to Rob Seidel, our tech advisor, making everything sound good, and Sarah Beth Judson, the Facebook marketing guru who has gathered all of us here today. So, thank you very much, and I hope you guys all have a great rest of the evening, and we will see you in Jackson Hole October 29th.